American Shad are part of the herring family. They are anadromous, meaning that they spend most of their life in the ocean and return to freshwater to spawn. They are native to the east coast of North America. In the 19th century, Shad was a hugely popular fish on the east coast and part of a well-established fishery. This popularity led to their intentional introduction on the west coast in 1871, where they began to spread all the way to Russia. Over the years, their popularity has declined, as has their abundance, but they are still established in their native range in some areas of the west coast. In the 1900s, factors such as overfishing, blockage on spawning rivers by dams, and degraded water quality all contributed to their population decline. American shad move in large schools and are highly migratory. Their body is dark greenish or bluish on top and silvery white on the sides, with a dark spot and one or two rows of dusky spots on the rear of the gill cover. The tail is deeply forked. The fish can reach up to 30 inches in length, however, they usually only measure 15 to 24 inches. Females tend to reach a larger size than males. After three to six years at sea, the shad usually return to the river of their birth to spawn. They feed heavily prior to spawning and do not eat during their trip. The spawning migration into freshwater requires a physiological adaptation to freshwater, mediated by hormones. Spawning American shad females broadcast a large quantity of eggs, up to 600,000, into the water column over several days. These eggs are fertilized by males. Spawning usually occurs over gently sloping areas with fine gravel or sandy bottoms. Some adult shad migrate back out to sea after spawning, but spawning stress is great and dead shad are a common sight after spawning. Fertilized eggs are carried by river currents and hatch within 7 to 10 days. After hatching, the young shad grow rapidly, feeding on freshwater plankton and aquatic insects. The primary food of larvae, juveniles, and adult American shad is zooplankton. Occasionally, adults will eat small fish, but this is not a major part of their diet. Some juvenile American shad will remain in rivers and estuaries for up to a year before entering the ocean. Shad are prey for larger fish, birds, and seals. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.